Hello everyone, this is Gizem Brunamo from Bose University Department of Computer Engineering. This is my CMP492 project called Extended Semi Supervised Feature Extraction. In machine learning, the main purpose is to come up with a good model of the data. In order to do that, we need features that best characterize the data. If the data is labeled, LDA can be used to extract features. If the data is unlabeled, CCA can be used. If the data is a mixture of labeled and unlabeled instances, SCCA is shown to outperform both LDA and CCA. Hence, it's a good method. For that reason, we extended SCCA with two modifications and proposed extended semi-supervised canonical correlation analysis, that is ESCCA. If we know the class labels of the data, we use LDA to get the class specific information. LDA finds a linear combination of features which characterizes the class information within data. It needs label information in doing that. If we don't have the class information, we use CCA to reveal the features related to data itself. CCA finds linear relations between two sets of variables such that they are maximally correlated. Those two views can be two different representations of the same thing, such as the audio and image of the same person speaking. CCA extracts features of both views without label information. If we have both labeled and unlabeled data as two or more views, we can use CCA. However, CCA doesn't use the label information we have at hand. SCCA proposes a method to give label information to CCA. Since we already know the class information of the labeled instance, for each class we take the mean of labeled instances and obtain a class mean. Then we replace all labeled instances with their corresponding class mean. Thus, all instances belonging to the same class are represented with same values. We gave the class means as labels to CCA. The following figure might help you to visualize. The first modification that we propose is as follows. Instead of replacing the labeled instances with their class means, we make a clustering at first. Then, for each cluster we obtain, we take the means of the instances and find a cluster means. At last, we proceed like SCCA. We simply replace the labeled instances with their corresponding cluster means. The following figure might help you to see the differences between SCCA and ESCCA. The second modification we propose follows from the first. Like as in ESCCA1, we make clustering for each class we have. Then we find the cluster means for each cluster. After that point, we thought that we could use those cluster means to represent both labeled and unlabeled data. We replace the whole view with the cluster means. However, since the unlabeled instances do not have the class information, they do not belong to any cluster. Here, we simply calculated the pairwise distances of cluster means to all unlabeled instances and used the closest cluster mean as a replacement. With this modification, we send the whole view with the label information to CCA. Here is the overall structure. For the experiment, we use multi-feature digit dataset from UCI Machine Learning Repository. The dataset consists of 110 digits from 0 to 9. There are 200 instances for each class. We used the first 100 per class for training and later for the test. We also combined the odd and even digit classes into two separate classes to measure the power of clustering. In the dataset, there were six views originally. We combined the two views that have small number of features into one and worked with five views. We gave all pairwise views of those five views to CCA and took the average of the accuracies of those combinations as the result. The test results are presented here. Both methods have high accuracy levels as you see. However, we do not observe a consistent enhancement of the existing ones. We believe that there are two reasons for that. First, the views of the dataset was not very successful at representing the data. 
there were certain correlations between them. Secondly, the number of instances in the dataset was very small. With small number of instances, extracting further information with clustering might not be possible. As future work, the algorithms we propose here can be run on a bigger dataset to assess their full power. Thank you for listening. If you have comments or questions, please free feel to contact me.